Hi, Eric Beard back just to talk a little bit about some goal setting and helping you get where you want to go in life and staying focused on the big picture, as Stephen Covey mentioned, beginning with the end in mind. That's something that I want to touch on. I do have a special guest to interview here in a moment. You might have just seen him in the back of me here. It's Trial Triangle Man, one of the most famous and other fitness challenging competitors, uh, the doppelganger of Mr. Ben Tucker, president of the Health and Fitness Providers Network. Um, before we have our interview with Triangle Man, I just wanted to help remind you to keep the eyes on the prize. It's very often when people start out on endeavors or journeys that we start out by understanding clearly we want where we want to go and paying attention to that on a daily basis what our goals are, but we get distracted along the way. And many times those distractions come in the form of getting caught up in some of the problems or challenges that we run into on a day-to-day -day basis. So if we were trying to climb a 14,000-foot mountain like Long's Peak out in in Colorado, when you stand a few miles away and you look at the majestic peak up there, we think about ascending towards the top, and we stay focused on it, and we keep moving, take baby steps, baby steps, baby steps to move up towards that mountain. It might seem like it's an impossible task, because as we get closer, we can see how we're cl uh, that you can actually achieve that goal. But many times, people get stuck along the way where they get caught on this, oh, well, this is a massive boulder, it's a 10-foot boulder, how could I ever get over or across or around or through this boulder? And they get frustrated, and they give up, and they and they, they quit. They quit in their dreams. They get distracted by the small problem or challenge in front of them instead of just staying focused on the top and working through that and staying dedicated and committed. Because when you've gone through that journey and you've gone up the steep slopes and you've gone through the treacherous um, you know, fields and you've gone over boulders and you've climbed up sheer faces and you've slipped on ice and snow, and then when you get up at the top of that mountain and look back down, all those massive challenges that you had to go through look more like pebbles. Just little bumps in the road, little easy things to go over. So don't get distracted by anything that might hold you up temporarily. If you do fall down climbing that 10-foot boulder, get back up and keep going and look at where you're going. Stay focused with your eyes on the prize. So without further ado, a um, very special guest here in my office, Mr. Triangle Man. What? What? Are those Girl Scout cookies? My daughter's been selling Girl Scout cookies, and you're just going through the box. How could you possibly rummage through the box? I mean... You are the head honcho of another fitness challenge. You are the person. I mean, you've got your little gold medal there and everything. How could you possibly go ahead and be in Girl Scout cookies at a time like that? That is completely inappropriate. I mean, I look up to you for motivation, for ins inspiration, for education. Give yourself a dot pit treat bar. That's much better. That's just, I don't know about you guys, but I'm disgusted. That's completely inappropriate. I expect better than that from you. Y you've got nothing to say? No, I'm sorry for stealing your daughter's Girl Scout cookies. No, hey, I'm sorry for being a role model and letting you down. No, oh, it was my cheat day. Or, hey, I, I, I went ahead and I put the Girl Scout cookies into my dot fit program. That's it. It's a whole box. I mean, there are two sleeves. They're completely gone. Oh, I understand. You're threatened. So he's obviously threatened. I mean, we've seen the pictures. We've seen the, the losers in the background that he's put in his other interviews when he's up on the podium. We've heard him make disparaging comments about other competitors. I see exactly how it is. You'll have a little webinar to share what your experts say, but when it comes to crunch time, to kind of motivating us, to coaching us, and telling us a little bit more about how you've gotten to look so good. No, that's it. Nothing. Well, what I thought was going to be an exclusive interview here with Triangle Man has turned out to be a disappointment. A committee stole my daughter's Girl Scout cookies, and he's kind of zipped it up here. So, so I look for a little bit of inspiration. Uh, you know, we all have bad days. We all stumble. We all get caught up. And obviously, that box of Girl Scout cookies is thrown off our triangle, man. And and I look forward to um, another interview with him at another time. So, I can't believe that I have you fly all the way out here, and then that's what you get: Girl Scout cookies, and not saying anything. I'm Eric Beard. Thanks for watching. Don't get caught up on the stumbling blocks. Stay focused on your goals.